Hello, today I'm going to show you how to make steamed black bean garlic spare ribs. And these are the ingredients that you will need. And they are a pound and a half uh, spare rib, three cloves of garlic, two tablespoons of uh, preservative black beans, and you will need uh, the spice will be uh, pepper, uh, salt, sugar, cornstarch, soy sauce, oil, and sesame seed oil. Okay, first I have to uh, wash and cut the uh, spirit. So I'm going to wash it with uh, salt water. Put in about a, a tablespoon of salt and a little bit of water. Doing, uh, washing it with uh, salt water, it gets the blood taste out of the uh, spirit in cold water. Dry the. Uh, we need to dry the uh, spirit a bit. You can wait for uh, like five minutes later, and then it will get drier, or dry it with a paper towel. Now I'm going to cut the uh, spirit into li little pieces. Any uh, excess fat, just take it out. See, like the bone, just in between the bones. This one has a little too much fat, so I cut it up. This is tough skin, so um, I have to try and get rid of it. So when you eat, it's not as tough. So you do that and slowly just like, tilt it a little and there, it's all. See, the tough skin comes out and it becomes like that. Okay, now the uh, the garlic has been minced, so it looks like this, and I'm gonna put it over the uh, whips. And the black bean, uh, just use a uh, water, rinse it, rinse it for two times. And then uh, chop it, mince it. Okay, it does not have to be that fine, but just like. And then I'm going to add the uh, rest of the ingredient. Okay, now I'm going to uh, marinate with uh, pepper. Eh, a little bit. Less than quarter teaspoon. And I'm going to use a uh, half a teaspoon of salt. Quarter teaspoon sugar. Half teaspoon cornstarch. 
soya sauce, one tablespoon. And then mix it. Okay, all these ingredients are mixed. So I'm now the final stage is adding the oil. It's like quarter teaspoon of oil. Just a little bit. And half teaspoon sesame oil. Now you mix it again. Okay. Now uh, it needs to marinate. Uh, it, I would suggest marinate for one hour, but you can do it try a half hour or overnight is the best because all the uh, flavor has absorbed. I'm going to cover it and let it marinate in the refrigerator. Right, now that uh, my uh, spirit has been marinated for a few hours, I am going to mix it again and then we're going to steam it so I have one inch of uh, water in the pot and I have to put this thing in and I have to wait for the uh, water to boil before I put in the spirit okay uh, the water is boiling so I'm going to put in the uh, whips so the trick for this when you uh, steam the whip you have to put a little hole that helps the, uh, the steam to circulate better. So here we go. And we're going to uh, check it again at 10, 10 minutes later. So let it boil for 10 minutes. Now that it's been 10 minutes and I'm going to check how the uh, spirit looks like. So it's not fully cooked yet. And I am going to loosen it a bit so it will cook faster. Be careful, eh? This steam is very hot. Okay, just let it be. Cook another 10 minutes. Because normally it takes 20 to 25 minutes to cook. Cover it back and let it go again. So it's been uh, 20 minutes. I am going to turn off the pot and let it cool down for 5 minutes. And then I'll take the uh, spirit out. Okay, uh, this uh, spirit is ready. It's been I cooked for 20 minutes and uh, I let I turn off the stove, so, so I let it cover for five minutes, and now it looks like this. It's still bubbly, but it's all cooked. I can tell. Water came out, and the bone comes out too. Is it the bone like this showing? So that means it's it's cooked. Look at this beautiful dish. If you enjoy watching my video, please click the red subscribe button on your screen. There is no cost or fee to you. Also, click the bell if you would like to be notified when I upload a new video. Thank you and see you next time.